All right, guys, so today I'm going to be upgrading this standard, uh, what do they call it, the luxury grill on my IS250 with this uh, eBay F-Sport uh, grill. And this is actually OEM, this is from the Lexus dealer, but this is straight from eBay. And uh, if you guys are just watching this, then keep watching, but if you're doing this at home to your IS, then that's the reason you're watching. To do this, you're gonna need a uh, ratchet with 10 millimeter sockets, a screwdriver, with a head like this, I don't know what you call it. it. It's just like a standard head, I don't know, star, whatever. And uh, maybe needle nose pliers, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, so let's get started. All right, so first things first, uh, unlike normal grills, this is the first grill I've ever seen that's multiple pieces. This IS grill is actually three pieces. There's these, uh, the main piece, which is one piece, the emblem or logo is another piece, and this chrome surround is a separate piece. So what I did is I just bought the grill and the logo, and I'm just going to uh, reuse the chrome piece. The reason I bought a brand new logo is because when people reuse the one that their car already has, they have to use 3M tape on the back and uh, it kind of bulges out a little bit because that thick tape on here and it's not really like, it doesn't really sit flush in the grill. So uh, instead of doing that, I just bought a brand new one and if you buy it from Lexus, this cost me like $51, I think. It was like 45 plus tax or whatever. Um, instead of using 3M tape, there's already tape um, on the back of this and all you have to do is peel it and it'll sit flush. But one problem I did find, it's not with the badge, but with the grill. It has pins back here that you line up with these two pins in the grill. Okay, and when you do that, yeah, you can see, okay, uh, let's see. This, first of all, um, there's, there's just some like alignment issues. Like you can see, there's a big lip around here. Okay, and up here, let's focus. up here, it kind of bulges out. It's like, it's, it's, it's like pushed to the right, if that makes sense. Like this part is like overhanging and this, this side is not enough. And as for um, this, it should be sitting inside the, what would you call this? Inside the space, like the logo should be sitting inside the space. When you line up the pins, the logo actually sits on top of this ridge up top so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that I'm considering just cutting these um, these things back here and trying to align it myself but we'll see well then actually you can't because that's another thing they already built this L shape in here and it only works if you align these pill or these pins and if you don't do that and you try to cut the pins and align it yourself so this is all flush you're gonna end up with something like this and you're gonna see that L in the back so I mean like I guess that's just something you gotta deal with but anyways I'm gonna peel off this tape and uh, put it in alright guys so I just finished installing the emblem on the grill what ended up happening is even uh, once I took this off right I went to go to just slap it on and I thought hey it's okay I can live with this alignment right that little lip I showed you uh, before um, when I lined up those pins, forget this alignment, this L from the, from the logo from the dealership was actually like slanting down, okay? And then you could see, you could see this ridge like really bad. It was just like completely misaligned. So what I ended up doing is I took some photos, but those pins that were on the back of the Lexus badge, I uh, ripped them off with these needle nose pliers, okay? And you can see... Here's one of the pins. The other one I had, the other one kind of got squished. But um, yeah, if you're installing this yourself, uh, save yourself the trouble, just rip off the pins and align it. And actually, um, when I aligned it myself, you can see there's no ridge, there's no nothing. It's not, this is not overlapping this ridge up top like it was when I aligned the pins. And uh, there is slight overlap with the underlining L but that's just because they made it so fat the actual badge is not that fat but honestly if you step away from it no one's gonna know no one can tell but yeah so I'm gonna open this up real quick and uh, I'll be back okay so to open this up it's a super easy process if you've never done this before there's plastic clips all over this 
just cleaned this. Um, there's plastic clips all over this cover. We just want to take off this front cover. And uh, to do that, just there's a circle in the middle of all these pins. Just, pop, just push it in until it pops and they'll all get loose and then you can take it right off. All right, so I just want to make a quick update video before I get too carried away with myself. So far what I've done is this weather strip right here, I've pretty much peeled it back and what was holding it in were these uh, little clips. I'll try to focus here, right? Um, you can see that they were in here. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get this hole to wrap around this clip and you can see there's just clips everywhere. I think I might have messed up there and I might have to buy a new weather strip with the clips in it, I don't know. Um, but I'll figure that out later. Um, so yeah, I took that weather strip off and then there were these two pins. That took me like 20 minutes to figure out. Okay, these two clips, whatever you want to call them. Um, they went in here, okay, and here on the ends of the grill. So, uh, I, oh, I broke the one on the left, to be honest, trying to open it, and uh, after inspecting them for like 20 minutes, I figured out how they work. So these are really long clips that are inside the grill right there. To open these up, they're gonna be, they're gonna be, um, so they're gonna be pressed in like this, right? To open it up, what I was trying to do was take this whole thing out as one piece, right? That's wrong, that's why I broke the bottom part of this. What you wanna do, Hopefully you guys can see. There's like four little indents around on the outer circle. Stick something in there. I used this, okay? I used this and I stuck it inside one of these ridges. And I, you just wanna pop that little circle out a little bit and it will slip right out. It's, uh, it was pretty easy. So that's where I'm at right now. I took out the uh, weather strip. Try to focus, took out the weather strip. Don't know what I'm gonna do about these. Um, we'll get to that when we get to that and like I said, yeah, released these two pins, and uh, I'll figure out what the next step is. Alright, so I figured out how to remove it. Uh, by the way, I forgot to say, there's usually a 10 millimeter bolt or screw or something right here, uh, going through here into here. You're going to have to unscrew that to take this grill off, but the previous owner lost that, I guess. So I didn't have that, I didn't have to deal with it. But so basically there are these clips, okay? You see this, it goes in here. And there are just clips all around the car or all around the grill, as you can see. At first I thought there were these little screws on each end that were holding it in, okay? But that was not the case. It was these clips. And uh, so, it, I don't know, this was my first time doing it. And uh, the, this is honestly like really cheap, crappy little plastic. So. I was really scared when I was popping this out. It takes a lot of force, to be honest, like way more than you feel comfortable with. But I just kept applying more and more force till eventually it popped out. And now um, most of this has popped out for me. There's just these bottom clips and that's gonna be easy. And uh, then yeah, your grill assembly should come out. But when you're doing it, don't be scared uh, to use a lot of force because uh, these clips are really in there really tight, um, despite what you would believe. So yeah, oh, see, there goes another one. See, I'm just gonna rip this off real quick and then we'll go from there. All right, so I've taken the factory grill off. Uh, here's a look of the car without the grill. I think it looks kind of cool actually. But so yeah, here's the grill. I took it off and it looks like, since the only thing I'm gonna be re reusing is the surround, it looks like the only thing holding the surround in, you guys can see, is a bunch of rusty old screws. Looks like there's about six total, two on each side and two in the middle. And then uh, a couple of clips as you can see there, there. But yeah, so it looks pretty easy from here. Uh, just gonna unscrew these, uh, unclip it and uh, see if it works. All right guys, so I did get the chrome uh, surround off. It popped right in and I screwed it back on. And as far as this weather strip goes, I was able to put the little pins back in, so now I'm gonna do is put the weather strip on, put the cover up, and uh, that should be it. Bye. 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 Bye.